You see what's going on here in Detroit? This is million dollars worth of game. Listen, skill of baby edition. We came to the block, the whole Detroit. Detroit, make some noise, Detroit. The community was lovely this morning. Detroit came out, uh, it was a lot of love. Oh yeah, I'm blessed. I got the OGs with me. I ain't, you know, we ain't tripping about nothing. He owned this one, that one, that These one, two. them two. And that build. Because I just feel like if I'm gonna take from my community, I gotta pour into it. And I've been in them kids' seats before. I always wanted a rapper or somebody I looked up to to come reach back and touch me or something like that and pour it in the community that I was in. I'd probably be way better off. You see what's going on here in Detroit? I'm known as Detroit Slim because I be out here so much. I don't know why he out here with me, but you know, this is million dollars worth of game. Listen, Skiller Baby Edition, we came to the block, the whole Detroit. Detroit, make some noise, Detroit. We out here, we out here. listen, man. Listen, this, we got baby money out here. We went through the block. Listen, been showing love to him since, you know, forever. But Detroit is active, it's going down. If you don't know, you're going to find the f out. That's all I'm going to say. But listen, tonight is going to be a movie. We just running around with him all day, showing you a different edition. You know, million dollars worth of game go to the hood. We don't sit in, we don't sit in rooms and just have mics. We go to the hood where a lot of y'all can't go. We got to tap in with our people. Look around here. This is our family right here. This is our family. We go and tap in with the soil. It's just like that million dollars worth of game. Skill a baby. Tap in, and it's just like that. Right. Why? Wow. Them my houses right there. Them my sh right there. I own, I own this one, this one, that one, and that building. He own this one, that one, that These one, two. them two, and that building. Four houses on, on the block, man. I'm working on this one right now. Okay. So this is your whole block then, basically. Yeah. We rehabbing them right now. This shit was this. All these was up like that. Like I had to. I just got these like a couple months ago too. I'm about to start. They just gutted all you that. See, they out. got the dumpsters right there. They they getting busy right now. Yeah, they charge me about an hour for them whole dumpsters. Gutted everything out them. I'm about to start. They got to put the porch up, and then I'm gonna wait to do that one because that's terrible on the inside. That one's terrible. Oh, that one right there. Yeah, like that that's jump big over there. Yeah, yeah, I got the, that for 20000 Yeah, the, um, they finna redo the hospital. Made that bitch to a virtual hospital and shit. Yeah. Like it's a billion dollars. They about to extend that bitch. Oh, yeah, so it's ready so to So all these gonna go oh, up in property. I go up in value. Right. I got these for 20000 I probably could sell these, but three, 400 when yeah, I get done with them. And, and they about to build the Lions facility right there. To oh, practice facility. Oh, so you on point? Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Oh, that sh Next time I got have y'all see these, they gonna be crazy. They gonna be up. Yeah, swear to God. That's what I'm talking about. Who, who gave you the game to get, come grab some of this real estate? I always wanted to, I, when I, I told myself when I got some money, I was gonna do something with my money. So I always just, like, I ain't had no money, but I was like, this is what I'm gonna do when I got money. You know, like all the old dope men and shit, that's what they do, they buy houses. So that was the smartest shit for me to do. I, I don't know nothing else. Like, I be like trying to book myself, get black trucks and shit like that. Like trying to do fleets and shit like that. But this like the smartest thing I knew I could do. Especially like saving my money cause I don't really need money cause I got coming in. So I ain't trying to like fix them up and sell them. I'm trying to fix them up, put people in them and just, you know, I know if I got like 40 houses by next year, I get like 1500 out of them. I'd be at least, I can make at least 60000 a month, 70000 a month. So that's how yeah. I just be, I be trying to play it the smart way for real. Yeah. But, but these are my houses over here. I just wanted to show you all this. I'm like one of the youngest black developers in Detroit. That's what it's about, man. You on point. They in there smoking that Reggie. 
I don't even smoke, so. <laughs> <laughs> if he's smoking Reggie, that's, that's old Gilly Gill, OG. I ain't smoking no Reggie. <laughs> I hope you ain't smoking no gank in Detroit, if I, man. If I'm smoking Reggie in Detroit, that's on Trick Trick now. You gonna throw Trick Trick I under the bus? I ain't throwing Trick Trick under the bus. You gonna put y'all OG under the bus? We don't even play with the Gold Squad, man. Them boys. Them boys, the Gold Squad. We don't even. We let Trick Trick be Trick Trick. Uncle Trick gonna be Uncle Trick. You feel me? I already said some whole on, on the shade room the other day about Eminem. We listen to Eminem. We love him. Yeah. We love him. Right. We love him. Don't don't be mad at me. Why we can go now? Because I support you, man. You're out here trying to do something. So I would rather give you, pay you, than you give me something for free because you put your time and your effort and your love into that. So you deserve for me to pay you now. My fault, OG. What up, what up? Appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all for pulling up, bro. Nice to meet y'all. Appreciate y'all. He, Uncle Q got the food truck right there. I told him you about to come get some food. I need him. Listen, he just assaulted he me. All right. What you mean, he, he just assaulted me what over there? Do? I'm taking your badge now. I got to report both of y'all. Y'all not doing your job out here in Detroit. Y'all supposed to be. That's what I'm saying. See, she want to play. We, we every we city it. we go to, he try to get me locked no, up. No, we want. I'm going to make a. I know. I'm going to make I a report on y'all. Take him down to the. Cause y'all not locking that. him up. Why is she? No, I'm she not. Said, hold why up, you hold up, hold up, hold up, yes, hold up, thank hold up, you. Hold up, hold up, thank cause, you. Cause, cause, cause. You so crazy. I'm not snitching. I'm not snitching. I'm having an understanding. I'm just trying to give y'all some. I don't know it. <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. I don't even know him. That's my little cousin. He, he just, always he trying just, to get me locked But I'm saying y'all need to be relocating real What quick. happened was he did 20 years in jail when he said I need a little vacation. He needed a vacation. I don't believe that. But listen, any day, so you, you if you want to, you can come. No, that's what, no. You don't you hug no in 20 years in jail. I want to take a picture. Come on. Come on. No, get out of my picture, man. Come on, man. This ain't for you. See, I but, but I want a picture by myself. Okay, and Take a picture by myself, oh, Rob. I'm, I, no, get him out of my picture. He's a f get him out of my picture. Come on, get this picture, Rob. Look at this. Living the life, baby. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna holler at y'all later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me. I mean, hit the joint. Hit the line later, man. Yeah, yeah. So, so somebody watching this, 15, 16, they don't know their way in life, what they wanna do yet. If they broke, they struggling. What's some advice? Some advice is you you gonna be alright because you still got time. Don't put no pressure on you based on yourself based off what everybody yeah. else is doing on social media. You, you know, like a lot of people want to I mean? be like you right now at 20. They feel like they're behind because they see Skiller, he may be younger. But you lit and you what, 30, 40, whatever? No, I'm 45. So you're 45. Did you ever see this coming when you was in jail? Like you were sitting down in nah, jail? Nah, nah, I, I was getting my life together. I ain't see a lot of coming. So yeah. I, just, I came home and put it on the ground and just kept going. You know I seen I mean? that video where you had $1,000. You said, I'm going to turn this to $100,000. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. this. Do, when you go back, do they give you chills looking at that? Like, like really, like, do that? How do that feel? You come out here, people love you. Like, 
How did that really feel? Truly? It's a blessing, man. You know, I wouldn't be able to do any of this without God. Yeah. And it was just that I was, I was, I was, I wanted it. I yeah. wanted it. You know what I mean? Hey, look, you gonna remember, remember my face, gang. Keep like, going hard, baby. Remember my face. Hey. All right, keep going hard. I'm gonna just say this too, right? I'm gonna just say this too. I got a baldy from in Detroit today, right? <laughs> he cleaned my <laughs> shit, right? He did good. He gave me the Detroit mustache. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Look at his. <laughs> Look at his. <laughs> Look at his. What's up with my He gave me the Detroit mustache. That's how you gotta do it. He gave me a little ass. Yeah, that's a Detroit mustache for your ass. Look at this shit. Hold on, let me go. Where's some other at? Look at this shit, man. He gave me the Detroit mustache. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you you got the whispers, Joy. Look at Detroit mustache. <laughs> Look at the little thin joint. <laughs> Look, he gave me the Detroit. Look at that shit, man. Dang. Look at your joint. Thinner than a mother. Look at his Thank puppy. Yeah. Look at his joint. Thin. Yeah. I got a Detroit stash, man. They gave me the Detroit drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They cut my sh today, man. Gave me the little stash, man. Look at my mini J. I ain't never had no stash like that, man. Look at this. You from Detroit? Yeah, he got the Detroit stash too. Look, they gave me this little ass joint to do. Look at this. You got it. Look at the little ass stash. He said, you want me to shape that? I said, man, go ahead and do it. See, I cut my own shit. This is the first time I cut my shit in 20-something years, man. You get it cut here? Cause I ain't had my clippers, man. That shit start growing back here. That shit be inching and shit. Get this shit off my face, man. That nigga gave me the Detroit stash, man. I called my wife, she started laughing like a mother, man. She seen me with that little ass stash, man. Yeah, big motion. You know what you tell him? Say I'm little, but I got big motion. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, baby, I'm little, but I got big motion. You hear me? Not little motion. Big motion. Don't get it tangled and twisted like an Annie Ann's pretzel. You hear me? Yeah, you like that? I saw you, Pete. You taking that game? I see you soaking it in. Yeah, that's why you soak that game in. You know what I mean? You know what you tell him? Say it's three types of people. It's people from around the way. It's people that's in the way. And what else? It's people that make a way. Big motion. Yeah, he's soaking it up. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what you say? I give you that. I'm going to say inspired by Gilly. Yeah, don't worry about it. You know he do millions. How old are you? Eight. Yeah, but see, by the time he's 11, then his, his vocabulary is upgraded. He talking talking like your own. You hear me? Yeah. Add that in, it's over. You hear me? Add that mouthpiece in. You hear me? All right. Right here. Believe that. You know he was a lot of work with Diddy. Big motion. <laughs> hey. Hold on to that. Come on, man. Hold this for me, man. We gotta do a video, man. Come on, man. We gotta do a good morning video, man. All right. Yeah. We are gonna do a joint. You gonna say good? You know what I mean? You gonna say good morning? Good morning, right? Hold. Oh, come on. We gotta get this off, man. Are you, you, when we start, you gonna say good morning, good morning, and then you gonna give him a word for the day. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Every day you wake up, it's not gonna be a good day, but every day it's a blessing. I get up and get some money and get your mind. Big motion. Big motion. That's what I'm talking about, Neff. Hey, let me give you some of this paper, man. I mean, now Jason Tatum is man. People don't care which. Now Jason Tatum, now he is Celtics fan and the Lions fan because they win it. You and that. I look. Look, look. Uh, you think he could beat me one-on-one? Be honest. Huh? You think he could beat me one-on-one? <laughs> you know I'm saying you think... Wait, you think he could beat me one-on-one? Ah, uh, man. Don't delete it, man. Wait, wait. Don't delete it right, now. Right, wait. You thought he was right. gonna say you, and you got. <laughs> <f> <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, for why you didn't do me like that, bro? <laughs> I can't go lie to you. No, 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 no. Hey, look, look, look. This is one of my mm, big nephews. Mm, mm, guess, guess what he gonna do it to you? He gonna make love to you. Lay down, no, no, no diddy. Uh, he's gonna be like, uh, no diddy. Don't do that, mother. Like, uh, no, no you, diddy. Oh, uh, uh, make love to uh, me. Uh, don't say that. Uh, no, um, no diddy. No, he not. No, he's not. Oh, oh. You better stay at three points. We won't let him say some. Like that you better stay that three point line. You gonna make love to him. You gonna start screaming. Oh. You gonna start screaming. So OG, you, you can't say no shit like that. OG, yeah, OG, yeah. clean that shit. We on camera, man. Cause you gonna be crying when you come down. Oh my God, Lord have mercy. I'm done. Lord, have, oh my God. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord. I'm not on duty, man. Not the. You on duty, three. Oi. You better shoot a three. <laughs> Not on duty, Oi. Take a picture with the guy. Million dollar worth the game. Talk to me. We on million dollar worth the game? Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Y'all in the hood with it. We always in the hood. Y'all in the hood with it? Oh. It's the interview right now? Yeah, if you want it to be. I can interview you? Yeah. Okay. So how long you been doing podcasts? Five years. Five years? You like it? Love it. Love it. Who's the most influential person you interviewed? Myself. Yourself? Who's your favorite person you interviewed? I don't know. We interviewed a lot of people. You know, I got a lot of favorites. You got a lot of favorites? Yeah. But you had to pick one. I can't pick one. You can't pick one. Lil Dirk, Young Dirk. Thug, Floyd Mayweather, Mike Tyson, DeVito, okay. Burner Boy, okay. Tusi, okay. I like that. Everybody. Lotto, Everybody. Cardi B, Glorilla. All that. I got a lot of favorites. I like that. Some I ain't even mentioned. Now Skiller Baby. Now Skiller Baby. Yeah. West Side of Detroit. West Side of Detroit. Nobody know what it is. Yeah. West Side of the D. Yeah, me. You see what's going on? I just willy the bike down the street. Bike Boys Detroit, we doing it, baby. This nigga could have never been our getaway driver. No, we'd have been locked up. He was the getaway driver. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Susky. Yes, yes, sir. Up. We in here, Detroit. In the, you yes, understand, you Detroit? How you be, brother? Yes, sir, baby.
갑시다. Listen, man, we out here, man, just had a crazy show. I'm talking about, listen, yes. Skillet shut it down today. Yes. They shut him down. Yes. It was just crazy, man. Listen, man, yes. how you feel, man, though? We had a good day outside of the show. Oh, yeah, I'm blessed. I got the OGs with me. I ain't, you know, we ain't tripping about nothing. The community was lovely this morning. Detroit came out. Uh, it was a lot of love. It just, it just, it was a whole family environment on the block, man. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about that? Just coming through, and you brought some artists through. They was connecting with the people. How you feel about that? I'm just got, glad I got to show y'all what Jack Harlow is talking about. Mm -hmm. But why is it so important? You, you do gun buybacks, you always with the kids, with the sports. Why is it so important for you to do all that? Because I just feel like if I'm going to take from my community, I got to pour into it. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, And I've been in them kids' seats before. I always wanted a rapper or somebody I looked up to to come reach back and touch me or something like that and pour it in the community that I was in. I'd probably be way better off. Well, let me say this. I knew you was that. Before I got, but now seeing that shit in person, this is the first time I got to see that shit in person. Really, that like appreciate you, OG. And you that and you accelerating. Your shit is going like this, like you see every and you one of the most consistent. I see you in the car. You just pull that phone out and just pop your shit. How does it feel? I mean, I feel, like I said, I just feel blessed. I remember like just dreaming about shit like that. Like I used to watch everybody around me turn up and stuff, and I just used to be happy for them. And you know, you'd be like, damn, I can't wait to have that type of you feel me. And it don't be no envy or nothing. You just be like, you be motivated by everybody around me. Like everybody around me was turned, you know? And I just appreciate having my turn, like, you know. I just want to share my light with other people too. You fresh off tour, how do it feel knowing you go city to city and sell out? Oh, uh, City to city. I, I, cause you know, like it's, we such in a streaming world right now, 
I get real love and real life. So, like, I'd rather pull up to my shows and they sold out than stream more than everybody and come outside and nobody like me. I, I just rather that. Like, I feel blessed. Like, I get real love and real life. One, th one thing I can say about me and Wallow, the, the love that we get a lot of the times is from the human connection that we make because people just feel like when they see us, man, that's just Gillian Wallow. They, what they see is what they get. I feel like with a lot of artists, it's not like that. But with Skilla, it's, it's like what you see is what you get. He just a genuine good nigga. He crack jokes. He, he, you feel what I'm saying? And he just, a, just it ain't no facade to this shit. It's just like, this is just me. And either you fuck with me or you, you not. Where did you get that ability at to just be like that? Um, I think, I think I just, you go through so much stuff like, y'all street, you street guys, so y'all know. Like you go through so much stuff and you trying to find yourself just growing up. I finally just, I went through so much stuff. I just had to tell myself like, don't stress over nothing you can't control. I can't control if nobody like me. I can't control if you like me. I can't control if nothing like stuff like that. So I just be myself and if you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. And I'm unapologetically myself and I'm the type of people I like to be around. So I just like to patent myself after being like that. Like, you know? I see you loving the women heavy. You loving the women heavy, like, you know, what, 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 what encourage that? What, 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 you know, what empower that to get us women so much love? Like, you know, we live in a world where, as you know, social media, you always see the battle of men and women and everybody, a lot of times women get tore down. What, what empower you to just love them so much through your lyrics? My daddy used to tell me, like, you only got one mom and stuff like that. Like, I, my daddy was like that type of guy. Like, so I was raised by like an old school. My daddy was born in 1946. So like the values I, I stand on, a lot of people don't have those values because they come from young families and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. I just, I love my mama. I'm real, I'm real close to my mom and my sisters. I was raised around a lot of girls. And then as a kid, like, I ain't gonna lie. As a kid, I had a problem with authority and like, um, like disrespecting, like, I was, I was a daddy's kid. Like, I love my daddy, not the most, but I, I was just, like glue so I kind of neglected my mama in a way like from like from like till I was like eight or nine like I didn't want to do what she said and stuff and then out of nowhere like my dad died and I got closer and closer to my mama I always was closer to her but I just our relationship got better and I just I matured and it just it just come with maturity and stuff going through life like now my mama, like, we want, that's one of the closest people to me. I only got like five people that's close to me. Do it become harder for the ladies? Because now all the ladies checking for you, you become harder because you believe in love and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So so is it harder for you now to make your decision or decide or to settle down or you just still like, I'm chilling? I mean, I just go with the flow. Like whatever guy I want for me, yeah. that's what I want for me. I ain't trying to force it. I ain't trying to do nothing. I love who I love and I love who love me. That's all. Well, yeah, that right. was a hell of an answer. That was a nice. That was a nice for too. He That was some real out of the tree pimp shit. Yeah, you know, I love, I love, I love, I love me. Yeah, slide around this shit. <laughs> now, now, what keep you grounded though, man? We at we, we was at the BET basketball game slash million dollars every game. You dealing with the people, you connecting with the fans. Let's put that out there. He got, they got cooked. Yeah, I thought he was gonna do more than what he said he was gonna do because yeah. he been he been telling you some but stuff for a while. Y'all went down twenty five. He was frustrated. Yeah, no, he he said he that. He, like, he blamed it on me. Tell me, you did a bad coaching move. I got the first four five points. Yeah. <laughs> he did. He did. He I did. had like the first he was four balling, five points. Y'all took said, me out. He said, take pulled a, a, a bad. We stayed, taking them stayed yeah, in. Because Tank was in there with a weight belt on under his jersey. Yeah, he took all that shit. And the elite chopper went for about 40 he, before he we even got, got he back here. He went crazy. I could beat him because he was hot. Gilly throwing passes oh, like this. Uh, he was a bitch like, man, why you let Tank tell me? Why you let Tank stay in there? I said, man, yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Let him do his thing. But but you just so down to earth. How do you stay grounded, man? The money here, the success here, the fame here, the attention here. How do you stay grounded? You stay. I'm blessed just to be here for real, for real. To be honest, like, you gotta think like this. I mean, people I I looked up to and was watching since I was a kid, yay yeah, high, you gotta think like that. Like, uh, I mean, these people are still a fan of them. Mm -hmm. So I'm still fanned out when I see them, I tell them, I don't really care, like, I'm blessed. 
I'm, I can take care of my family. I get money consistently. I came from nothing. So when you come from nothing, everything is a plus. It's, it's nothing is a negative. Anything I have is a plus. I started with zero. Mm -hmm. You said earlier you take care of a lot of people, man. How does it feel to be responsible and keep delivering and seeing that your people that you love is in a better position because you out here putting it down? How do that feel? It's a blessing. You get what you ask for. Like I ask to be somebody that people can depend on. I hate it being having to depend on people. I hate it being in that position. I love the stress that come with everything that come with my life. Um, you know, everything you do when you doing something positive, it come with negatives and positives. So I I love it. I don't get how I don't drink. I like to go through all my emotions. I want to be happy, sad, mad, all that. Like, I go from, you see, I go from irritated to back blessed with y'all, happy to do this. Like, one second, I don't really, I don't really dwell on nothing. So, so, what's next? I heard some new music. I was in the car with wine. I heard some, I heard some stuff. So, what's next? Uh, I got um, the deluxe coming out. I'm working with, I, I showed Gilly some stuff. Wine don't even got, but I got some big features coming. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hey, nigga, listen to me. Yeah, you ain't tell me. That worked. I'm glad you said, bro, I was, oh, yes. He banged that shit. Oh, my goodness. I ain't even And I just want to say, I want to I personally thank you, because that shit you sent in New York, L.A., oh, my God. I, love I ain't gonna leave LA. my bitch, because I love my bitch. I don't she see nobody else, because my buffs got yeah, shit. She, she told you she got them. She she got, she what'd she, she tell you? When that first verse ain't it. Yeah. She sent it back, back, what'd you say? I, gladly. I don't want nobody, I don't want to get nobody no verse that they don't like. And I I, I was kind of iffy on the verse. So She's like, do this. I did it and she liked it. I, that's why I appreciate her for giving it. Oh, that's all right. I can't wait to shoot the video. What's going down? You know what it is? Because I, I heard it, the first version. I'm like, he doing something different. I'm like, you know, you you it might be different for him because he, he, you know, she was like, but she listened to the nigga. She was like, no, dad, he come way harder than this bit. Dad, I'm telling you, no, he, I'm gonna I'm ask him, cause I, so I'm like, that nigga sent that second verse. I second said, verse. He nigga, she was all the way right. This nigga <laughs> fucked that shit up. Said <laughs> we club this and get drunk this shit. <laughs> you want me to leave my telling bitch? <laughs> you was talking that shit. That's your so hard though, because yeah. I appreciate her because I ain't never did a beat like that. Yeah. And she put me on the Timberland John. Yeah. You feel me? That's major. I should never even Gentlemen, expose that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep it all the way real. Me. I talked to Tim to and, and, and his homie, and they was yeah. like, We got to shoot a video ASAP. We got to shoot a video. I said, <laughs> That, so that video got to be all the way right, too. We can't oh, have We're going to make sure it's tight. Make sure it's tight. Give you this DVD itself. You know that Philly hospitality. Lay the, lay the carpet Boy, out, man. I remember I told you I ain't think Philly had good food, and you brought that one lady. Yeah, Pretty Girls Cook. He was he was talking crazy. He told me I ain't think nobody nobody had no food. We brought Pretty Girls Cook. He was back there. Yeah. He wouldn't he would come from that back seat. I'm going <laughs> to make sure she dressed you up again. Let me do a quick rapid fire. You ready? Uh, Jordan or LeBron. I'm gonna go Jordan. I like, I, I, I ain't. step in this, Gus. This would be an Oswald game. I'm gonna go Jordan, but I like LeBron now more. The, I used the, to hate this, LeBron. This ain't one of them explaining jokes. This just Jordan. Jordan. you just okay. All right, yeah. well, hold on, let me ask you a question. Gilly or NLE Chopper? Gilly. Ooh, Chopper, yeah. Thug or Future? Future. I gotta go Future. Pull it up. Isaiah Thomas, Kyrie Irving. Isaiah, Zeke, for sure. Damn. I knew you was going to do that, you Detroit ass uh -huh. nigga. I knew you was going to do that. And, and I'm going to say, Isaiah got that dog in him. Like, he'll bite you. Like, for real, he he was doing whatever to win. Barry Sanders and Emmitt Smith. Barry Sanders. I'm going home. Come mm. on, man. Damn. He did that with no line. Come on, man. You, you got to think I that. mean, I would have said Barry Sanders, too. He did that with no line. Cole Pepper or Randy Moss? Randy Moss. I messed it up. Hold on. Not that Cole Pepper quarterback though, but Randy Moss over it everybody. I meant to say, I meant to say, uh. See, that's why you don't let this nigga do rapid fire. Jerry Rice. This motherfucker say shit. But Jerry Rice caught bricks. This motherfucker say shit. Reggie White or Barry White? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry.
Hey, Wallo though, Jerry Rice caught bricks. I forgot Randy Moss and Cole Pepper. Jerry Rice caught bricks though, but you gotta think more <laughs> change the coach. But, but, but you gotta That's crazy, man. This, this nigga said the quarterback and the it. wide receiver. Joe Montana. Rice. I thought, no, I didn't say Joe Montana. I said Cole well, Pepper. I'm saying that's the I same thing. Cole Pepper, Randy Moss. They was playing on the same you team, right? Him throw it or him catch it. <laughs> What's they playing on the uh, Minnesota Vikings? Yeah, that's why this nigga hit. You oh, rather man. see him throw it or him catch it? That's that's yeah, crazy, that man. Talking, man. I don't know, man. I, mean, that's, uh, I was off that season. Yeah. But listen, man. We was live from Detroit. A beautiful day. The West Side, to be exact. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say this too. That fucking, what's the name of that shit, man? Nigga took me to Coney Island. That shit was good. Then he stopped that fucking Mickey D's Coney Island. I tipped you in there $200 for a plain hamburger that was burnt. You know I said, fucking, fucking hockey putt. Right. You okay. said Mickey D's was the best. Oh, Mickey D's. Mickey D's. Mickey D's. Detroit one, not even the best one. Uh, uh, we supposed to take him to L. Georgia's or Zorba's. If you're on the west side, go to L. Georgia's. If you're on the east side, go to Zorba's. He took you to the bad John. He took me to the bad John, man. Did you like, no, he like, we leave You guys think Detroit one, I my daddy stayed in that senior citizen building next door. I used to be over there all day. Used to have chickens outside that bitch. <laughs> Listen to you, I swear to God. Dude, you still laid out that bitch? <laughs> you right. was a sad bitch. I, got, I caught comments in the 20s in that. I got all that type of shit in that. You one of the baddest shit. <laughs> one of the burgers and some chili fries. Baddest shit in that. I would have I used to go all around this bitch. It's going to be fake babies. Fake babies. Uh, we used to call them the good babies. Them twitties, <laughs> them twitties were responsible for Christmas. <laughs> getting them off. For sure. Oh, 20 man. at a time. Weed man, I got so many of y'all weed men with them. <coughs> y'all getting this urban anything. You know them niggas ain't had no marker. You go at they night. They fooling it with that uh, At night time. Yeah. Oh, wrinkle it up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he got to get some smoke. <laughs> the dude, the, the devious ass nigga riding around D-Town oh, burning the niggas for, for Man, niggas is crazy about that week. We ready to get about it. Million dollars for every game live from Detroit, man. It's killer baby, man. It was a great day in Detroit, man. I love you it, man. You know the city love OG and uh, them, too. Wait, hold on. Before we get out of here, because your, your name just used to be Skiller. Mm -hmm. See, that shit I learned when I'm Skills. in Skills. What means you had the baby to it? I don't know. I just started rapping and it had to be fancy, like... I just thought it had to be fancy. My name was originally Skills. If they would have left me in the game, I would have showed y'all why my Ooh. name was Skills. You feel me? What game? That one game where y'all kept taking oh, me out. Oh, man, come on. You got in there, though. You had 20 minutes in the game. You pulled the score. You scored By five points. By the time points. I got back in there, we yeah, was down 25. 25. Yeah. But what they got to do with him? We the came game. back to 10. You remember? We, Friday got us back to like 10 points. Friday? Friday was in his score. You remember? He was in his score, got us back to like 10 points. Y'all still took off on us. You got you got think a basketball is a game of runs. You yeah. got When you in the Friday rhythm. 20 points. When you in the rhythm, you you good. Right. Once you just discouraged. Right. That's it's fucked up, man. I started the game on first five points. Boom, 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 lay up. I don't three. think they called you skills though. They probably called you no skills because that was that was mid. That game was that because I, I I got in there and did what I needed to do. What four fouls? Talk. What you mean? I ain't. You was zero for four. You had four fouls. Me and me and what's the name had the big play of the game. Me and uh, uh -oh, yeah, yeah. Lola. Yeah, Lola. She slammed. It was over. Yeah, this nut ass nigga. We was already down a lot though. Yeah. By the time we got back in, it was a lot to a little bit. Some my ACL niggas was messed win. up. That's us. Some niggas just they want to make a play. No, my my ACL messed up. I had to tell myself this is just a celebrity game. Yeah, you <laughs> start taking that shit personally. He was mad as shit. So he came right in the locker room talking about so back. Back. all that old crazy shit. Tate was snapping over here, man. Tate was yeah. Tate was like, no, we gotta get can in the game. Mike, come off this. <laughs> leave, leave me in the game for five more minutes. Bro. Five <laughs> more minutes. Just five. He more told Kenya. Kenya said, all right. He said, keep this five in. We out of here. You know what I mean? That's what it was about, man. Got y'all niggas cooked. Yeah. Ooh. Take out that fucking weak on under his jersey. Oh. And he pads all like like Patrick Gillard. Y'all was shooting the, the blood out the board, though. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all yeah, can That's shoot. what we do. Live from Detroit. It's just like that. And it's just like that. Right. Is it on those shoes?
Oh, oh my God! Look at this, cuz. Cuz, look at it. Look, look. She got the throwback picture on there. I'm sorry that happened. I hope y'all still love it. Look, look, look. She got the throwback <laughs> picture. I mean, Gil, this back in like ninety five. Oh yeah, I ain't even five. see the throwback. I That's what Gil. My husband did this. He's a graphic designer. His name is Goldie. He's a beast. Huh? He did this for y'all. Is it okay if I take this out real quick? Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's get a picture. We got, don't drop it. Hey, I'm not. Man. I'm not. Nope. This one I'm about to do right here. I'm good. I swear I'm good. You relax. I'm good. <laughs> so she knows what she's doing. No, you go to. No, just in case the box falls. We she can lose the box. We no, can't we gotta put it back cake. in there. With the, uh, no, we don't want to leave. The box can. No, we need the box. Put it back can in the go car. like that. <laughs> we need that box. Can I stand in the middle? Get this, get this, man. Make sure this going, yo, know, this going yeah. in the episode, man. Detroit. Okay, okay, okay. You see what's going on. She I'm made this for me and Gil. You see the throwback picture. I got a Deion yeah. Sanders jersey on back in the day. Me and Gil, that's back when we was young bloods. Gil was a little drunk that time right there. He had like three forties because we was in the club that night. You know what I mean? We was in club dance. You see, look at this, man. Take that nigga down. No, you're cool. Yeah. Stop worrying about that. Take that nigga down. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm tired of it. Leave a verse. I'm ready to go back, man. I'm tired. Trying to go. <laughs> oh, but you act like you called me from John, like you just ready to go. Ahead, come. Nah. I enjoyed the concert, but if you want to. Hold on, you nut ass nigga. Uh, yeah, what's up, baby? What's going on, He's baby? He's a nut ass nigga. You know what I mean? She's trying to, you know what I mean? Take me to the hoof cap. Who my favorite rapper? Y'all say what up to my son. What's up, y'all? You know what's going down. She trying to let 5 aka 5 pretty 5 0. On the gram, check her out. She trying to lock me up tonight, take me back to the chubby. You know what I mean? That's what you trying to do. Y'all got cake? Y'all got snacks? Come on, get, me, get out and give me a hug before I leave. Come on. You know I'm a sheriff too in Philly. Come on. We can dab you up. Y'all can't. Listen, you know I'm a sheriff in Philly too, so when we go with all of them uh, police conferences they have in the country, we're going to see you. Tap in, tap in with me. All right, y'all.